Southern Footy League uh, football as we uh, see the season out with the Division 1 Grand Final today in uh, absolutely picture-perfect conditions here at Springvale Reserve. It's what you want to see on the big day, the last day in September. And uh, it will be the Vampires up against the Doggies here today at uh, Springvale Reserve in the big dance. Firstly, I'm going to welcome uh, my commentary team, uh, my co-commentator this afternoon, Johnny Tack from Europe, the number one ticket holder at East Brighton. How are you going there, Johnny Tack? Good, thanks, Rowan. Uh, hello to everyone out there in uh, southern footy land. It's a big day. We've also got the uh, presence. I thought we may have got there a year earlier than I, than I initially thought, uh, but I'll take it every time just the same. Uh, it's great to be in a grand final, and uh, it's days like today uh, that make uh, all the blood, sweat and tears over previous years uh, worthwhile. Obviously, you're probably the favourites coming in. Uh, how are the confidence levels? Confidence is good, but we're certainly not. ...for the dogs, but Bowman was there again. Kieran Knox for the doggies. He's got a player, some players on the railway side of the ground moving for him, but he decides to go longer. It's going to be a dangerous kick to a one-on-two. Look, it could be. He comes to the railway side of the ground. Dangerous kick looking for Chad Liddell, but his experience shone through on that occasion up against Mulroney, and uh, Liddell's got the grab. He chips in short looking for McGarry. Oh, could have given the way, way the free kick there, Mulroney, but McGarry has just bell barged his way through two tacklers. Oh, it's come back there now to Barnes. Barnes is uh, going in hard. Uh, going in hard. And uh, the ball is turning over there. Dylan he did brilliantly. Picked it up in the second attempt. Barry Hope's left foot. A kick smothered. Could have been held without the footy. And it's going to go to Barry Hope. He's bright play there. Doothy, but doing very well. The breeze at the moment. The tricky breeze. A big kick from fullback comes in looking for Bowman for the Vampires, but McGarry cleans up at the back of the pack, and his kick is an absolute... Hopkins wanted the handball, but it went over his head to Ryan Smith. Smith kicks it. Guided missile. Good mark there. Bit of a falsy uh, that he's pretending to have a shot. He, it was. He spots it up into the middle of the... Oh, there, so Barnes, 25 out right in front. Goal up high, moves a little bit, but he's put it through for a goal. And St Paul's all of a sudden are back with it. Ball it up in the centre of the ground. It's going to be French up against Gilbert. Gilbert wins it down straight to Mercoulia. Mercoulia, he couldn't pick it up. Craybog set upon. French does well, the big fella. His handball's too often. Quickly get it back to Hope. His kick's a bit ordinary and taking the mark. Good grab. That centre half back is thrown back in. French wins it down. Who's there? Chance for Mercoulia. He puts it on the boot and it's gone through for a goal. Yeah. And they're 2 2 14. They're 11 points behind East Brighton. 3 7 25. Jace. Yeah. Went at home trying to pick it up on the half volley was Reed. But uh, that was. Uh, Ryan Smith that kicked it off the ground. Now it's with the doggies. Doggies through Taranto. Go up towards Marasco. Marasco's got to get the free kick from. East couldn't pick it up. Here, there is. Uh, McIntyre kicks it towards Wolford. Oh, big French. It got a shocking bounce. Fell to Wilson. Wilson kicks a beauty and finds Marasco.